everyone, this is the website without the button. First of all, we need to have a Gmail account, an email GS account to be able to do this project. We will need the service ID, the template ID, and the user ID of the email GS. And if you need help in setting up your email GS account, I did provide a link below. Just check the description. I assume that you already have your email GS account. So first we have to go to our Shopify store or Shopify website and we go to online store, themes, actions, then edit code. Shopify store here, you have to log in as an admin and then you click the online store here and then click the themes in actions, then edit code. So we have to go to the snippet folder and create this product model contact form. We have to name it as product model contact form. And we go to our snippet and we'll create a new snippet and copy paste that name and it should create a blank snippet. And after that, we have to paste the code below. We have to paste it to HTML here. And control C and control V here and we'll save it later. Next, we'll have to change our highlighted code. So this one right here, the user and the template ID. Okay, so we have to go to our email GS. The user ID would be in the integration button down here. We control C this. On our product model contact form, we control F or find the access. I want the user. The user right here will replace this one and the next one would be the template ID. So we go to our email GS and we go to our email template and we copy this, go to our settings and it will be just the same as here. Find our access again, right here, copy paste that and click save. I did use a default service. The default service is right here. I'm using the default um, settings. So default underscore service if you're using the default settings. But if you're using different one, you have to enter this service ID here. The next one is we have to render our code. We have to go section folder and we have to go to our product template ID. And we control F and find N form right here. And we have to copy paste this rendering code. And we enter it here, control V and click save. So make sure you click save there. And let's see. This is without, let's refresh it and see right here. We have this one right here and let's click here. This should show your title of your product, which is Liberty for All, right here. It should be the same. And the first key of your product. Let's try it. Let's say me, my email is made and say hi. So it will have an alert if you don't have the ad symbol, the gmail.com. And let's click send. And it should be changed to sending here and a pop up or an alert would say sent. And when you click OK, everything should close and we should have an email shortly. OK, let's check our email. So our email should contain the title of the product here as a subject and it should show your ski right here the name of the person that trying to contact you and your email and a message hi. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.